from seeing him literally at, well, at death's door really, to seeing him walking his daughter down the aisle was, it was, well, it was amazing. It was, you couldn't really describe it. I was best man, so I organised a stag party. I'd booked a go-karting for the first event. John, the father of the bride, was behind me. He used to do it semi-professionally, so he was quite good. But I managed to keep in front of him for the first couple of laps. Um, and then he overtook me. And then coming around again, he, um, he, he went limp, went through a tyre wall and straight into a tree. I went straight over, knowing that obviously something serious is going on, and said, I know how to do chest compressions and how to do CPR. Do you want me to help? Putting it into practice um, is another thing. I knew it was kind of time to act. There was nothing really to hold me back. So uh, just going through and one and two and three and four. While the first two paramedics came, I was still doing CPR and they put the defibrillator pads on him. Three weeks later, he walked Ruth, his daughter, down the aisle at the wedding, and that was amazing to see. You do feel proud that you've done it, but also you, you just hope that it's, it's something that anyone would do. I think it's vital having these kind of skills. You don't know who's going to collapse. You, you don't know if some, someone off the street, you don't know if it's going to be your mum. Your dad, it could be anyone. I mean, if you've got the chance, learn, learn CPR. Um, it's, it, it could potentially save a life. Michael, if somebody called you a hero for what you've done, what would you say to them? I think a hero should be best kind of place to say a soldier or a fireman. I think I'm just like an everyday person, really, who just helped save a friend. Mm -hmm.